For the next for the following exercises, we are going to start using the county data file that you have over here. Not the one called county data modify, but the one called county data. The reason why there are two of them is that I'm going to use these exercises to show you that in many cases, um, in order to create, in order to design graphics with Flourish, you will need to will you will need to do some data preparation, right? And that require that will require us using to use Excel to change, to modify the values a little bit. But for now, for this first part, we can use these data without changing anything because we're going to create two maps to show the total votes for the Republican for the Republican candidate and the total votes for the Democratic candidate in the 2016 presidential elections. I'm going to click on new. I'm going to create a new map. It's going to be the map, the map US counties, this one over here. I'm going to click on that. As before, it's going to load some preset data, some predetermined data. I'm going to change the size of these temporarily so I can see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is a bubble map. I'm not going to do a color map. I'm not going to color the regions. The background map will be gray, right? And what I what I will do will be to load uh, bubbles of different sizes to show number of votes. So on the right hand side, I'm going to go to shading and disable land shading. All right, so everything will be gray. The points I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to change. All right, for now, what I'm going to do is to upload my data. So I'm going to go to the data a, a tab over here, and on the shading data, I'm not going to load anything because that's disabled. All right, right now. I'm going to upload my data to the points data tab. So I'm going to go import my data and I'm going to select county data, click twice, import. It will tell me whether more than 3,000 rows, perfect. And now let's select the column that we are going to visualize. We need to do that in here in the select columns to visualize. The first two are the shading. We are not using shading as you remember. So I'm going to scroll, I'm going to skip these two region name and values. I, they don't do anything because you are, we are disabled shading. We're going to go to the point section down here. So the first one is the point name required. What are, what are the regions that we want to visualize? It shouldn't be column A, right? It should be column B because column B is the one that contains the name of the county and the state that it belongs to. All right, so I'm going to go here, a point name. I'm going to select that and select B. Now, the next thing is that as these are point data, it's going to be a bunch of bubbles on a map. I need to tell the software well, where to position each one of these dots. So it needs the latitude and the longitude. Fortunately, we have the latitude and the longitude positions of the center, the geographical center of each one of the counties. So I can tell, I can tell the software, well, latitude is column C and longitude is column D, right? These will not be necessary if we were doing a shaded map. But as long as we are doing a bubble map, we need the point latitude and point longitude so Flourish knows where to put each one of the bubbles. And then what I want to visualize is the total vote for the Democratic candidate, all right? And that will be column number, column letter H. So I'm going to select here, erase that, click on enter. And if I go back to preview, I will see a nice map. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. There you go, a nice map of vote for Democratic candidate. Now these bubbles are a little bit too small perhaps, so I'm going to go to the point section, click on that, and select maximum radius. I'm going to make it really big, perhaps 30, all right, to, to make the bubbles a little bit more visible. So these are number of Democratic votes, right? So let's go, now let's visualize, let's create a second map with a number of Republican votes. Let, by the way, let's change the field color. Instead of black, I'm going to use perhaps, um, um, perhaps a, a slight green or something like that. Unfortunately, we cannot use two different color palettes for the two maps that we are going to be creating. We are going to use the same color palette for both maps. This is one of the features that Flourish will incorporate in the future, being able to use two different color palettes for the two maps that we are going to create. But for now, we need to use the same color palette for both maps. Okay, so I'm going to just mix a color that looks nice, right? That, for example, that sort of bluish, greenish, grayish. I'm going to go back to data. And I'm going to select uh, on the point values. Remember that if you want to create more than one map or more than one chart in Flourish, you can add more. So after H, I'm going to add a comma space I, which is number of Republican votes. And I'm going to click on enter. Now, something weird is going to happen. Take a look at this. Let's go back to preview. And uh, let's see. Well, okay, so we have the, the total votes of the Democratic Party. Let's maybe make this a little bit smaller. Total votes for the Democratic Party. Let's change the radius, by the way, to 50 to make the bubbles even bigger. As this is a little bit too much, let's make it 40. That's the maximum radius, okay, so the bubbles become bigger. But if I click on Vote Republican, take a look at what happens. The bubbles are enormous, right? So we have Vote Democratic, 
right? And then how is it possible that we have many more votes for the Republican candidate than for the Democratic candidate? Well, that is not the case. Okay, This is uh, something that we need to fix. Right now, Flores is sizing the bubbles according to the maximum value in the current data. So it is measuring all the bubbles corresponding to votes for the Democratic candidate in comparison to the number of votes probably in Los Angeles. And all the other ones are smaller in comparison to Los Angeles. And it's doing the same with the Republican vote, right? So it's taking the biggest bubble in Republican vote, probably Maricopa County in Arizona or any other, I don't know which one it would be, right? And it's sizing all the bubbles according to this bubble. Therefore, the two maps right now are not comparable, right? They are not comparable because they are not measured over the same scale. This is one of the things that, one of the tricks that we need to learn, that instead of sizing the bubbles according to maximum value in the current data, we need to select maximum value in all data. So it will take all the data that we have and it will size the bubbles according to that. It seems that nothing has changed, right? If I select maximum value in all data, but if I go to the Republican vote, you will see that now it looks a little bit more reasonable, right? So uh, in general, as you know, what happened in the election is that uh, the Democratic candidate, um, uh, Hillary Clinton, she won in fewer counties but she got a huge amount of votes in those counties. Whereas the Republican candidate, Donald Trump, he won in many more counties, right? But he got fewer votes in general in most of the counties in the United States. So the Democratic vote tends to be concentrated in urban areas, right? And the Republican vote tends to be more dispersed all over the, uh, uh, the country. So bubbles tend to be in general much smaller than the Democratic candidate's bubbles, but they, there tend to be many more bigger bubbles for the Republican candidate. All right, so this map is ready to be published. By the way, remember that you can change the controller over here instead of two buttons. You can change control to, for instance, a drop-down menu, right? So if you want to, right? So vote Democratic or vote Republican, as you can change that. Although if we only have two options, perhaps the two buttons, button group, will be more, a, will be more appropriate. Now, notice also, let me resize this a little bit. Notice also that um, this has the search feature. So if I want to search for my own county, I can click here and say Miami, Dade County, Florida. I can click on that and it will highlight my county, how many votes the Republican candidate got in Miami, Dade. I can click over here, Democratic candidate, and it will show you, show me how many. Oh, it's still loading. So this is it's still loading there. It's still showing me the Republican, the Republican vote. So I will need to search again, okay, for the votes for the Democratic candidate. Um, the, uh, the appearance of the map also uh, a, a has an option called Zoom, all right? so you can enable or disable it. This will be useful later on a, in, another, in another tutorial.